Hi everyone and welcome back to the unconditionally loving section of the university with me and Rick Gabrielli, the marriage boss. So in this video we're going to be talking about how to match your inner value, how you feel about yourself on the inside with how you push that energy out in the world um, because sometimes you're in an imbalance, even with me sometimes, so I have to work on it so I'm going to listen to Rick and take on his advice in this one. So Rick, this inner out of value thing, how do, how do you see it? Well actually Steve, they're almost 100% imbalanced. So no matter who we are, and no matter how bad things are or how good things are in our world, these two things are constantly moving. Hmm. So one of the inner struggles is, you know, I'll just give you an example. Wow, I'm feeling really good about myself. I'm, I'm, you know, everything's clicking on all cylinders. My career, my relationships, my spirituality, my physical activity, everything's going great. My life is just, you know, it's just, I'm humming. I got momentum. Mm. And so I, I leave the house on Monday morning. I go out into the world. And then all the people I'm interacting with, they, they must not have gotten that email. They must not have gotten that message. They're, they're all responding to me or reacting to me. You know, like they don't know how great my job is. They don't know how great my spiritual connection is. They don't know how great my relationships are. They don't know I went to the gym like seven days in a row. Mm. So for some reason, you know, I don't have my badge on or something. That, you know, I got, you know, either the colors or the numbers that match up with where I'm at right now inside. And so that's a, that's a disconnection. So now I'm, I'm constantly trying to either justify prove, explain, to try to get that to match up. Why? Because I want them to say to me, hey, I recognize, you know, wow, I heard you got a promotion or you're driving a new Maserati or I saw your girlfriend and, you know, she's super hot or things are going really great. Your family's doing, you know, your kids are awesome. Mm. And, you know, your, so uh, your relationship, your physical health, everything's going well. So, so we want that. We kind of want people to know. And, and we, we don't want them to think that we're, by the same token, we don't want them to see us and say, oh, your life is awesome, but then it really stinks. So we don't want to have that imbalance in the other direction where they're celebrating us or lifting us up and idolizing us, but then in reality, we know it's really not like that. And that, that happens more often than not, is that what we call the highlight reel. People are seeing, especially with Facebook and social media, we call it the highlight reel. You look at someone's Facebook and you say, oh, wow, you know, their life is great. Because all you do is put the wins up there. Mm. You, you rarely put up there, you know, like uh, we use, in my family, we're a big baseball family. So when, when friends put their kids' baseball stuff up, they, they only put that up there when the kid won the game. You know? So if you know your, your friend's kid had a game that day and you don't see a post, you know they lost. Mm. So we're actually telling people by what we don't put up anymore what's actually going on in our lives. So what would be ideal, and I think everyone will agree, is if we could match these things up so that they kind of calibrate closely. They don't have to be exact. But so how, how do we connect our inner value and our outer value? And it boils down to two things. It boils down to being truthful in every area of our lives. And so, as I mentioned one of, in one of our earlier videos, when I was a young guy dating, it was not uncommon for me to lie any time manipulate, work the situation. So when I started to tell the truth more often, my life changed completely. I, I vibrated at a higher level. So all things came to me easier and then they were sustained because of that. So truth is a big part of it. So be truthful about where you are in your job. And a clarifying question on truth. Go ahead. Because some people can have optimistic truth, some people can have pessimistic truth, some people have realistic truth, mm -hmm. and truth is often subjective, even if it's in someone's own life, so what is that truth really? That's a good point. So you've got to try to get it as close as you can when you're discussing your life with someone and you're thinking about your life internally. Try to get it to be as close to, try to leave the ego out of it, don't operate from ego. Because very, very often we get pulled into, well, I want to tell somebody that my job is going well. Mm. Or I'm into the drama of, oh, I hate my job. 
it's terrible. And so, so think for a minute, take this moment to think, you know, which am I? Am I optimistic or am I pessimistic? And if we're overly optimistic, then our truth can be affected by that. If we're overly depressed and pessimistic, we can bring more darkness into it. So this is a good point you bring up. Being truthful is something to examine right now. Take this opportunity to examine your own truth. But try to be as truthful as you can and honest with yourself and others, but at the same level. And then when you start to go out into the world in a day and get the same response back, and it feels, it feels congruent, you know, this is about alignment. You know, we know when we're in, we're in good alignment. So, so don't just boast about the good things that are going on and, and then not let people know. Don't be, you know, keep, your, keep your, your, you know, your losses to yourself. Let it out there. Be honest. Be truthful. This is about unconditional love. The only way to be unconditional in any area of your life, certainly in love, is to be honest. Be truthful with yourself. Be truthful with everyone that you meet. And, you know, that's, that's, it's, a, it's a big plus. Mm -hmm. And then the other thing is be open and communicate more often and more effectively about what's going on in your world. So men especially are known for not communicating as openly. And so this is one of the challenges in our relationships. And it's one of the barriers to unconditional love is that our, our partners are looking for more communication from us. So um, a lot of my work is around helping men open up and communicate more often and more effectively. So be truthful and communicate more often about where you are in your job, your spirituality, your relationships, your physical activity, your health, and any area of your life. But certainly, so, so truth and open communication are the two ways to calibrate that. And uh, yeah, um, important point is without any of the story and the drama attached to it. Yeah, you gotta try to, to eliminate stillness. Eliminate the filter. You come to a place of yeah, quiet, calm when you when you really know. And in in the communication uh, series with JP Sears, we talk about this in terms of when we communicate something that we are communicating from our heart. And I'm sure you'd say the same when we speak these things. We've got to be communicating from the heart center, right? Yeah, and you know, it, it brings up a good point, and I'm going to add this. A lot of times fear of shame, vulnerability, you know, oppression, silence can creep in. And that's one of the reasons why we might embellish or brag about something that's really not true, not happening. Guys are famous for this. We get together and we got these stories and it's like, uh, you know, this fish I caught is bigger than the fish you caught and whatever. It's magical when you can get into your fear and express it. Be vulnerable and express it. It's magical. We're in an age right now. We're entering into a time. I mean, a lot of what you're doing right now is, is trying to usher in this new era, a new program, a chipset, as I called it. Dealing with our fears openly, being vulnerable openly. I mean, you hear about this all the time. It's like a buzzword. But when you do that and you really use that, it's magical in the reverse. So we find we don't need to brag anymore. We don't need to make untruths. We don't need to stop communicating or, or, or shut down. As a matter of fact, we need to do just the opposite. So if we're afraid, that's a sign we should do it. If we're feeling vulnerable, that's a sign to open up more. If we're feeling oppressed, that's a sign to communicate. If we're silenced, open up. So, mm -hmm. so it's almost like whatever you feel that you thought was bad before, this is permission to bring it forth. Yeah, it's permission from both of us to start practicing those things that he's just mentioned in our daily lives and um, just go out there and do it and then come back to us and tell us on the forums and share with the community what's going on for you when you do practice these things that we're telling you here. So... Any questions, leave them below and we'll see you on the next video.